Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, The Plumbing Gurus. My name is Clayton. On this channel, we strive to save you money, keep you informed on all the proper plumbing practices. As you can probably tell, my truck and trailer is a complete mess. We live in Calgary. Weather goes from like minus 30 to plus 10. And every time I go to the car wash, there seems to be a big lineup of semis because I've got this trailer behind me and uh, I don't feel like waiting hours on end to get a car wash. So I got to deal with this mess here for a bit, but I think one of these days I got to get in there and get it washed. Anyways, so we are doing this project here. There's four houses that we're doing. There's two single dwelling houses on each side and there is a duplex in the center. I'm gonna go through and do a walkthrough with you on what we did here and how we plumb these in from ground up. These are infill, so they're a little different than your standard uh, new build. We also ran Upanor pipe in these for the first time in these houses, so we'll also be uh, touching base on that. And another cool thing we did on these houses is we ran four inch from where it comes in through the city and up through the joist and we tied everything um, from the house to forage. So that's something else that we've never done before. So stay tuned guys, come check this out, let's roll. All right, so we're on the main floor of the duplex building here. We're just showing you the one side though, not both sides, because they're both, they're both identical. So we are gonna be talking about that first bathroom we did upstairs, the one with the LVL on the bottom underneath the plumbing wall. Uh, go figure, of course, right? Um, so what we have here is we have the toilet, the sink, and then the three inch just carries on and just drops downstairs. I'll show you guys downstairs after. So you can see here that here in Alberta, we're allowed to use a three by two double Y to wet vent. So this sink here on the right side by the LBL is venting the toilet and it's also venting the shower. Shower just runs over, we're within our eight feet for the trap arm. So we're good to go there. Everything's all set, nicely strapped, nicely square. That's what I like to see. Water lines, um, pretty basic. We just ran three quarter up there to keep the flow because we're branching off uh, for the sink and for the shower. And over here, we just ran straight over. Somebody took my strapping off up there, that's nice. Straight over and we just ran it straight down here with a clean out at the bottom there. And then that runs back over and ties into the four inch. So come on over this way. Here we have a Swiss Madsen wall mount to toilet. So this was pretty standard to install, nothing too crazy. You had to offset the back drain because in these houses, everything is an LVL. So the exterior of the house, the LVL is right underneath the exterior wall and there's spray foaming. So we needed a uh, two and a half inches minimum to meet our R value. So to help, well, to help to stop our pipes from freezing. So I had to offset this drain back and out from the LVL and I'll show you guys that downstairs when we make it down there. So pretty standard here. Um, as you can see, we ran our vent over down from upstairs. That was that one in that bathroom. That vents this bathroom here. So this two inch downstairs vents, wet vents the toilet. This inch and a half vents a bar sink and a full bathroom in the basement. Let's make our way over here. So here's that bathroom where there's that bathtub and sink, toilet and sink right here. So there is the three inch stack is right there. So that three inch stack comes down, wet vents the, or that three inch stack vents the sink and now it's wet venting the bathtub and it's also wet venting this toilet as you can see on the other side. Um, yeah, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Our trap arm is within our six feet for our inch and a half. Water lines just kind of cruise up there. Try to use as minimal fittings as possible, but just nice smooth loops going up. Nothing too crazy. And then if you come on this side, you can see we ran our three inch over. And we ran it right down with a clean out, obviously going before the floor. And we also picked up 
the two inch laundry and the two inch laundry sink on this side. And here over here is our two inch vent for our lift station for the basement and I'll show you guys that after. We <coughs> also tied off that two inch because it was in the same joy space. We tied off this two inch, we tied off an inch and a half vent for our prep sink. So they have a little prep sink in this corner here, just right here. And um, so yeah, we had, we, I guess we could have ran a vent down the laundry, but at that time, this job was kind of pieced together. We, we would do something and then they would change it and then they wouldn't have a wall frame for us. They, it, was, it was kind of a, a, a little bit of a challenge, but this was the first one they started. So from there on, it's like the next one, we did all of our framings ready for us. All the changes are done. We know exactly what we're doing. So things are a lot more um, prepared for us. But yeah, just a nice little prep sink here for them. Uh, the reason why we did that is we're not allowed to run our plumbing in a party wall. So we just came out the side and then the sink's just sitting in this corner anyways. So the plumbing will just come out of the side and then where the water lines are center of the sink. So here we have our island sink, just pretty standard, just two inch drain coming up, hot and cold water line. Cold water line obviously runs right back to the mechanical room just in case they want to put a water softener in. It's going to be hard water. And let's get into the master. So we'll start over here with the toilet, which uh, Karsten did his 45 through the joist, which we have a video, which we will link in this des description on how to run your drainage at a 45 through joist spaces. The benefit of doing that is you can see here where his fitting is, the three by two Y that he uses to pick up the bathtub. See how long of a piece he's able to use as, as a 45? That's about twice as long if you were just to go straight through the joist. So you're going twice as long, you're using less fittings uh, and less chances of leaks, right? So this just runs up into the toilet here. Your toilet is um, vented through here, which is the bathtub. Now this is not the neatest plumbing, not something ideally what we would do, but this all this got changed on us. So. Ideally, what we would have done, we would have done this a little differently, but it still doesn't look terrible. That's a vent that we had to add. So we added a vent to this bathtub here. And then this is our wet vent for our toilet there. So from there, we ran our three inch down and then we added a three by two Y to pick up the two sinks and the shower in the master. I'll show you guys how we did that just on this side here. And as you can see, they put the, the LBLs on the exterior of the house. They had to spray foam everything. So upstairs, I was uh, about four inches out. So I allowed about three inches of styrofoam to be behind all my plumbing. And I did not want my water lines to be inside of the styrofoam. In case something happens, it's a huge pain to chip out the styrofoam and move your water lines if you have to move them or if something freezes or whatever it is, right? So I want it to be on the warm side of that spray foam insulation. I did the best that I could here. Uh, the most important part here is that the water lines are not in the spray foam um, for like a sink water line. I'm not, I wouldn't be too worried about a hose bib, but in this case, this is, this is okay. And uh, so I have two sinks that I'm picking up here. We just kept them both two inch. Um, ran both the sinks over. This sink here is now wet venting the shower here. Don't forget about your minimum trap arm, two times the size of the pipe diameter. Ran our two inch down here. And like I said, it ties into this three inch stack that just runs right down to the basement. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. That's it for the main floor. Stay tuned for the basement because that's going to be a good one.